Hey guys, this is Ali with your mid-month forecast for December 2017. So for this reading, I want to focus on where Mercury is retrograding and where is there going to be the most important headlines for you, for your sign uh, from mid-month right through to uh, January. So if you would like a private reading with me, use the link below and go to www.hypnoula.com and do watch your sun, your moon and your rising videos as each one will have more information for you. So uh, let's start with Aries. Aries, you are having a Mercury retrograde uh, and revisiting all the areas that have to do with the ninth house, which is your education, uh, foreign, foreigners, um, travel, education, um, anything um, to do with uh, journeys, uh, travel, travel of the mind, uh, actual journeys, um, and local uh, council and things like that as well. You are going to be having some uh, changes in your family area um, from about the 19th of December or maybe a couple of days before. So there's going to be a revisit there as well. What Mercury Retrograde does, it brings back people, situations, opportunities that you missed out on or that you procrastinated on or that you didn't take the opportunity for. And this is the time time where you will re-look at those areas. So you might be re-enrolling into some sort of education, uh, re-looking at travel or um, you know, issues coming back up with a visa or foreign department or talking to people online uh, as well. Maybe looking into your spirituality, your highest self, your highest faith, those sorts of things. You do have the eight of pentacles. This is you Aries dealing with a partner uh, who could be a uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. And this is the resources you receive from others. Um, but for uh, th this particular couple, this is about revisiting the idea of, you know, getting back to work, travel, um, foreign um, visas, those kinds of things, and banging on about it to this partner. So that's specific to one type of Aries. For others, this is about relying on your partner, getting to a milestone with your partner. Maybe you're uh, revisiting or renegotiating, you're redoing something about closing the gap or a milestone to do with your partner. Now, again, looking at your family, there are going to be um, some revisits there. Family is going to be very, very important during um, the mid-month of December. Uh, it could be... Um people leaving and going um, uh, and starting their own family. It could be a family split, family arguments coming back together over uh, the Christmas period. But for family, for you, um, for uh, mid-month of December. So now we're moving on to Taurus. Taurus, uh, you are going to be revisiting and the resources you receive from others, uh, renegotiating with your um, current employer about what your finances are, and you're going to get the yes there because this is the happy ever after. So this is relying on the support you receive from others, funds you receive from others, uh, also government agencies, taxes, rebates, insurances, uh, legal departments um, in places that you receive funds from. Uh, and so there is a win there. This is an abundance, an emotional abundance after a rocky storm. So this Mercury grades are actually bringing uh, about some abundance, bringing about some wishes, bringing about extra um, stability in that emotional, so not no longer worrying about the support from others because Mercury Retro is bringing that back up to get this wish. So Mercury Rich Grade for you, Taurus, is going to bring about that support that you need and funds. So you might be finding that you know, you might have had this discussion with your boss for a while about a raise or maybe a... Um, a promotion. And you might find that this month, the Mercury retrograde is bringing that back up on the table. So you have a lot more uh, happier outcome with that. Or for some of you, you might decide, you know, I've already had this discussion with my boss uh, and it's not working out. So I might be revisiting about my place in this in this place. You know, where am I going? I could go and get another job. I could get a promotion somewhere else. Someone who sees my worth. Um, now, and this is in with others, your partner, and funds you receive from others and resources and help and practical support you receive from others and also deadly serious agreements. So you could be renegotiating your um, uh, terms and conditions at the place you're working, renegotiating your, uh, your duties, your funds, your salary. Uh, super. Uh, now, if this is to do with your partner, you, know, you could be renegotiating or coming back. Maybe there's been a split, but this is about emotional fulfillment and happiness. So whatever you're revisiting, it's back on the table. And a deadly serious agreement. This could be about getting a loan. This could be about um, that, that loan could be about education. It could be about a car, a, a home, um, any anything like that. So deadly serious agreements. Now, the eighth house is also uh, death, sex um, and marriage. So revisiting that area as well 
one of those areas for you, uh, Taurus. Now, you're also looking at the groups. There's going to be an abundance um, or help or networking from a group that's really going to help you get those funds or really going to help you with some sort of abundance to get that push forward, Taurus, in the month of December. And I wouldn't say that's from about the 19th on. So you get that uh, happy ever after after having a very long struggle. And now we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, you're finally getting that chance to pat yourself on the back. Um, you know, you've done some hard work, you've gotten there. And you'll find that you'll get the support that you need uh, uh, after the 19th of December for you. And that support is really going to help you because at the moment, uh, this is the uh, Seven of Swords, Gemini. So this is you and, and another S sign or just concentrating on you where you're feeling um, that your partner, your long-term commitment, whether this be with your BFF, your partner, your boss, um, your parents, someone long term in your life with this commitment there, feeling like they're escaping responsibility, feeling like they are um, avoiding the burden of responsibility, holding up their end of the bargain with the um, uh, relationship. This is um, someone could you could find or feel that you're being strung along with your emotions, stringing you along. You could find that someone's playing games with your emotions and so this might be where you're looking at this revision and saying, well, do I give this person another chance or you know, maybe you've been feeling like, well, do I want to stay or do I want to go? And this is the time where you're really looking at your commitment. Um, you're looking at your commitment. This is funny because you're sitting in the seventh house for your Mercury retrograde and this is a seven card as well. So so the reason why you're looking at your commitments is because you're feeling like they're not putting in the same effort as you, you're feeling like you've been lied to or that they are stringing you along, that there's been some kind of deceit or manipulation there. Maybe there's been withholding of funds or resources, um, you know, and, and so you feel like that, that the imbalance there. But you will find the support that you need uh, through this month. Now, don't forget you do have... Um, uh, Saturn and Venus and the Sun all moving into Capricorn after the 19th and you're going to feel that energy there's going to be a lovely transition into the next stage for you that will last for two and a half years but you will have the Sun shining on you giving you that love giving you that warmth protecting you and you also have um, Venus there which is bringing self-worth it's bringing love it's bringing um, you know the words that you're saying are well accepted you're accepted uh, so all of those things as well now we're moving on to cancer. Cancer, your health uh, could be a, an issue, whether that be a chronic issue that is revisited uh, by Mercury retrograde. So you could find something that you've been dealing with before comes back up. And look at you, you've got the lover's card and you've got the four uh, of swords. So this is Cancer. The fourth house is your roots, your home, your heritage, which is what you're known for, Cancer. That's the area that you rule. And this is laying awake at night, worrying about something. Now, if this is to do with your partner, this is your... Um, the lover's card, major arcana card, and you have Mercury retrograde sitting in the house of six, your work, your health, your day, your routine, and that is where you're going to have Mercury retrograding, so things will be back for that area, you'll be rethinking, renegotiating, revisiting, revision, uh, rejuvenation, renovating, redoing, um, restarting in that area for you but with your health this is something recurrent so it's coming back and this is for you to finally get a clearance for you to finally get relief for you to finally get what you need from that and you will get that through this um, chronic or this chaos or this crisis to do with your health or your work you will find the right fit and you will this will force you to make that change which is the best thing for you now this here is the worry to start with that you're worrying about your home you're Worrying about your children, you're worrying about your family, you're worrying to see if you've got the support. Now, this could also, because this is the fourth house, this could be um, uh, an illness that you've inherited from uh, from your family. Uh, that that it could be what you're worrying about. Or also, if this is about your work, you're worrying about can you support the family or can you support yourself. If this is to do with your health, again, you're worrying yourself at night. You've got three things piercing your mind, one thing you've laid to rest, but you will have the support there. So that is where um, you will find that you are had Mercury retrogrades um, touching on you. Now, for those of you wanting to lose weight, you can find that during this Mercury retrograde that your waist declines very quickly on a Mercury retrograde, especially uh, when it's sitting in the house of your health. Uh, so you also might be looking at changing your job as well, leaving a job behind. It could be that uh, you, you they've driven you nuts. Um, that's why you're worrying. You're, you're laying awake worrying and the stress and the discomfort. And so this is where you make that huge change. But you will have a 
revisit renegotiation mercury retrograde is sitting in your sixth house and that is where you are going to be um re-looking at something coming back on the table I am um, going to ask you again to look at your health. Uh, if you do feel anything that you've had before coming back, get straight to the doctor, get it sorted, because this is the time you will find that relief. Now we're going on to Leo. Leo, you have your family uh, ups and downs coming in from about the 19th of December. You will be finding that, you know, it could be about uh, finances. It could be the legacy of what you leave behind. It could be about inheritances. It could be about the family tree and how that's going to change. There could be an addition to the family tree there could be a divorce in the family tree there could be a death so there's that uh, if there's not a death then it could be that you're looking at or revisiting now you know your wills and what will be left behind or separating things up for the family for what's going to be left behind or getting the insurances for what's going to be left behind because that's where you're going to be having your attention from um, midway through the month Leo is about the family, the family unit, you know, who inherits what, what's the legacy, and 20 years junior from you. Also, for all month, you have uh, Mercury, which goes right, goes right through to January the 11th, uh, shadow period ends, and that is where people, situations, opportunities come back on the table. And you might find you'll have some blow-ups. You might find that you'll have some chaos there. You might find that you're forced uh, into reconciliation, forced into a split, forced into something. Because Mercury retrograde brings about this uh, energy uh, where it's back. It's back now. And you have to look at it whether you're going to get resolution, you're going to make a finality, you're going to accept, you're going to get an abundance in the area of dating and children and fun. Uh, so this month, that's where you're going to see uh, Mercury retrograde grade as well. Uh, you do have the tower card this popped up. This means that there will be a chronic out of the blue um, drama that will happen and it will be in the um, either with the family or with the dating. So family as in your children or with a partner who has children or with the partner. Now, we'll ask what? So there's going to be, a, there will be a lucky break. So you, there will be a drama and then there'll be a lucky break. Um, this is a major kind of card. So this is a change. For some of you, it could be the uh, head of the family because this is the 10th house. This is the head, the leader, but there is a wheel of fortune. But for some of you, I feel like it is, like I said before, with the inheritances and, and looking at super and looking at insurances and looking at what's left behind and what's being div divided up for the family tree and those kinds of things, it could be something to do with the hierarchy where there's been a lucky escape. So now we're looking at those things. It could be that there's been a breakup with you and your partner because this is a dating, five is dating. Uh, and then you, you know, it's good that you had this argument because now you had this, you know, discussion. Or it's good that you've had this breakup because now you see things clearly. It was the best thing that ever happened, you know, because, you know, you, you can, You've had this break and now it's going to be a good break and now you're ready to be able to move forward. If it's to do with the children, there is some luck coming out of this. Um, and there is going to be a blessing. This also is about inheritances as well. So for a small select few of you, Leah, this is about a passing of someone. Um, and for others, this could, this could be about a um, bringing about a uh, an engagement or a blessing to do with children. Uh, so I'm not sure. Maybe that's the, the tower is like, oh, my God, it's a shock. Someone's pregnant, you know. Ah. Um, but the lucky thing is this is adding to that family tree. We're making um, changes to that family tree because that is where you are making these changes. So now we're going to move on. To uh, Virgo. Virgo, you do have that um, uh, Mercury retro happen happening in your home. So this could be home maintenance because Mercury is about breakups, um, combustion, it's about mistakes, it's about confusion, it's about re renovating, it's about redoing. There's, so there could be something like uh, maintenance around the house, out of the blue, maintenance around the house, uh, you know, a few. A few months ago, yeah, there was maintenance around the house, so the landlord or you had to pay for a, a tradie to come out, and so that's going to happen again. Also, around the fourth house is about moving. You know, am I going to stay? Am I going to go? Is someone moving in with me? What around the home um, is being looked at again, renegotiated, re revisited, that you have thought about or discussed or has happened before in the past? That's coming back in as well. 
Now, for some of you Virgos, you might find that you are striking up uh, an unconventional relationship with someone. It might be platonic, it might be uh, unconventional love. Uh, but the idea of having someone in your life that you're spending time with uh, that is different, not what someone would be calling a classic relationship, is, is going to be happening in December for you. Now, you do have the three of pentacles, which is A, talking about masonry, tradies around the home. So definitely there is going to be some renovations, there is going to be some work around the home um, it could be something you know there could be wild weather through mercury grade is is notorious for uh, floods storms uh, tornadoes uh, fire uh, those kinds of things so you're spending money on that, improving the home, beautifying the home, or that you've been saving up and now this is the time you're finally able to renovate the home because Mercury is bringing something back. Now this is also about your spending. So the collecting on old debts, for some of you, you're going to be seeing an accountant, seeing someone uh, who can help you get your budget, your financial budget, your financial diet into uh, place. Also the fourth house is dealing with family matters, uh, family matters that have happened before, they're now back on the table and you're revisiting that, renegotiating that rejuvenation in the family, uh, any kind of paperwork or anything to do with that. Uh, now we're going to go on to Libra. Now Libra, there is some sort of an imbalance. There's some sort of tip to the scales that is going to have to be sorted. It could be around about the 15th to the 19th that you will see that this is aware of this issue where this imbalance is. And so you're to look and see where the imbalance, the scales is out, and that's where you're going to make uh, a fix. Now you have Mercury retrograde in the third house of communication. So watch for your phones, your laptops, your computers. Um, also travel, third house is for travel, short travel, long travel, doesn't really matter. And airways, um, you know, missed phone calls, lost emails, uh, lost texts, lost letters, those kinds of things. So anywhere, blogs, blogs going down, websites going down, internet going down, um, all those kinds of things is where it's going to be for you, Libra. And also you might be revisiting your website, you know, doing some more work on it, uh, changing things up. You might find that you are... Um, looking at your finances. So uh, there will be a boost in your finances from about the 15th on. Uh, and this is going to, this could be a, in form of a credit, a refund, or a debt being paid uh, to you. But um, you might also finally, you do have the four of wands here. So this uh, Libra is with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this is the home card, the happy home card. So it could be if you're talking to someone online, you're finally going to meet this person in person and you're going to find that this is someone that's worth banking on that you could have a future with. There is publication and success. That's where Mercury's sitting. So you might find that you uh, this Mercury rich grade gets you a job in that area. It's marketing in that area. Uh, great success with your... Um, uh, blogs. Uh, if you are relaunching something, you'll find that's great feedback because there is a, an abundance of finances coming in. You are looking at all areas of communication and selling yourself in publication and communication and travel. All those areas you're looking at at something you've thought of before because Mercury Rich Grade's bringing it back. So this is something you've thought of before, a person you've met before, an opportunity you've met before, something you've done before and you're looking at it again, you're rejuvenating it, you're revisiting it, you're renovating it, you're relaunching it. And you might have some technical difficulties, you might have your whole website disappear, you might have some work if you're doing a, a um a recording, you might lose it if you know you record the whole thing and find it's got no sound. Also, hearing in your in your speech, you could have a sore throat, you could have problems with your teeth, problems with your teeth, uh, lips, uh, problems with your hearing, as well. But any areas of communication, you could have blocks, you could have loss of sound, you know, uh, your whole website's down, no internet, all those kinds of things. But there is an abundance here as well. So if this is online dating, meeting someone, great. If this is about online selling, marketing, getting a job, you'll get that job and you'll find that this is a luxury, um, more money, this is an abundance there because your finances are definitely um, improving from mid um, December on. So now we're going to go on to Scorpio. Scorpio, you're going to find that there's an awful lot of chemistry going on from mid-December on, which is um, interesting because you do have Mercury retrograde in the second house, uh, which is your partnerships, whether that be love or whether that be finances. And also in the area of the second house is your self-worth and how you love yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you treat yourself. But for a lot of you um, Scorpios, there is going to be a new lover or a lover coming back 
where there's fabulous chemistry. Now, also, this is about great co collaborating. So it might not just it may also be someone that you've worked before with that you collaborate right uh, well with, or this is someone new that you've found um, that comes off very very well in whatever criteria it is that you work or collaborate with this person. Um, this is going to bring about great chemistry as well, and also you might find that you are re looking at um, renegotiating a partnership, renegotiating the terms and the conditions and the small details to do with that. You might find that you're relaunching this, um, that you're restarting something, something to do with a, a re in front of partnerships and great chemistry. Uh, now we're going to go on to, oh, here we go, the horror font card. This is your card, uh, Scorpio. For some of you, this is a dating scenario because this is the five. This is dating and there's a formality involved to do with that. So, you know, you might be introduced to this person through a someone that you know, whether that be work or family. For others, this is about revisiting the idea of your qualifications, getting the permits, um, you know, getting the permit to get married um, if this is a love. But if this is to do with work and finances, you're getting that paperwork, you're getting that um contract looked at, you're getting the authority, the permit, you're getting whatever's looked over it, you're getting that approval. For others, this is about education, um, teaching, um, working together. For others, this can be about your uh, finances. So working together brings about a big change in your finances and there is a Gemini around this as well Scorpio so now we're going on to uh, Sagittarius Sagittarius you are having Mercury retrograde in your first house so you might find that you have some issues with your teeth uh, anything to do with your face uh, now also your title might change you now you might have missed out on a, on a job promotion a job or a promotion or a new uh, status or title and you find that when Mercury brings it back because Mercury always brings people, situations, opportunities, um, emotions back on the table for you to have another go at, uh, whether that is to start again, to end, to relook, re renegotiate, revisit. But it's back now. For whatever reason it didn't work out or didn't happen or you procrastinated or you looked over, it is now back on the path. So you Sagittarius, this is about your... Um, your status, your title, what you look like, your place in the world, uh, that is where you're looking at things. So you might find that you do get a call back you thought you'd missed out. Because you also have this card here, Sagittarius, which is the King of Swords. Now you have um, an awful lot of um, endings coming up around about the 15th to the 19th because you've had Saturn and Sagittarius for two and a half years and now that's moving into Capricorn on the 19th. So you're going to feel things lifted. You're going to feel relief. You're going to feel that stale um, energy going and that pressure lifting. And now you're going to find that you're free flowing, be able to move forward. And it's almost like for some of you, you've got wings that will soar. This is with a, a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius. Um, and where you thought you'd missed out, you do have a second go, and there's two messages coming through very quickly. So if this is about love, because that's a status change, then you will um, get back together with this person. Now, if this is to do with law, there's, this is a, a positive handing down to you, and you'll get two messages straight away. You'll get the news straight away, one after the other. If this is to do with a job, then you will get the call back. You could even have two to choose from. But this is positive news. This is fresh air breathed into that which you thought was dead and gone just like mercury retrograde does he brings things back and breathes that air into that so that's where you're going to be revisited all month Sagittarius but you also your budget and finances are going to be looked at there is money and um and a, a, a change in there also happening at the same time. Now we're going on to Capricorn. Capricorn, on the 19th, you do have Saturn moving into your sign. Saturn's very happy in that sign. He's home in that sign. You also have the sun, which is helping this transition because the Saturn's sitting in your house for the next two and a half years. And so you're going to find that you will have a smooth transition with the sun in there. Happy birthday to a lot of you. And then you also have Venus moving in there as well. And that will be there right through to the third week in uh, January. Now, don't forget Mercury retrograde um, shadow period finishes on the 11th of January. So you've got an awful lot of um, abundance, love, uh, warm feelings, attraction, 
good luck sitting in your sign this month uh, Capricorn now where Mercury's revisiting for you are secrets coming out that you may have held back from others they may be coming out for others this is about things that you do behind the scenes uh, getting credit for that now uh, this is also you know what you are doing behind the scenes for others uh, you might find that that is really stepping up this month because Mercury is back in that sign so uh, revisiting it again bringing it up making it bigger uh, for others you might find that uh, this is sex because it's behind closed doors as well revisiting that darker side of sex for you uh, and for others this is about your habits your fears your phobias your past emotions because you will be at some times of the month feeling very lonely very lonesome even if you're in a crowded room you might have um, you might be saying goodbye to cycles you've held on for a long time this could be a pinnacle time for you where you're leaving a cycle behind for some of you this is you're you're leaving you're actually leaving so you know empty nest syndrome the children have left or you're the child and you're leaving this is leaving university going into paid work this is going on a year um, um, break tour around the world um, so for some of you it is actually movement as well uh, there is an insecurity for some of you some of you are looking at your habits your fears your phobias uh, the cycles that you live and you are making a change there so we'll get a card for you Capricorn with well, you got your wishes coming true so this is after a rocky time so even though you might be stressing and see the 12th house is also about being insecure as well whatever's coming back on the table you might be thinking oh look it's never going to happen but this card here saying that it will you have that emotional fulfillment and this is with the work and this is with your higher self this is feeling emotionally fulfilled and love this is meeting someone getting back together with someone again so you might be feeling that alone and loneliness before you get back together with someone now we're going on to Aquarius Aquarius you are having Mercury retrograde in your um, groups your friends your fraternities your alliances uh, greatest hopes and dreams and wishes uh, and so you might be looking at some friends and finding that you're closer to a certain person now uh, than you were before and then someone that you were closer with before is now so far detached from you so you might be re-looking at you know the status of where your friends sit you might be re-looking at joining a group you may be re-looking at going back to a group you've been to before this is about the support that's there political groups fraternities support networking all those kinds of things so looking at you know, marketing yourself getting onto those forums finding the great support that you need in those forums um, uh, also with groups so rejoining those looking at you so you there's a redecoration there revisit there relaunch there so if you're head of a forum um, or even a dream or a wish you might be relaunching that dream or relaunching that wish but that's where there's going to be a change and you're looking at things and you're moving things around and you're making these changes there also you're going to find that there is movement this month um, Aquarius so I feel it will be from the 15th on now the idea of you moving has come back and forth through the year something in December there's going to be a decision time where you are either moving your work uh, there is movement in your work where there is change or it's your home so you're moving uh, home suburbs states countries or someone's moving in so there's movement around that you have thought about and haven't acted on I procrastinated about not really quite sure where you want to move to or you're waiting for outside information so you might be waiting on a job before you can afford to move or you're waiting for a job before you can move to that area so you might have your name down for jobs in different areas and before you can move you've got to find out you know have you got the job it could also be about a partner you know does my is my partner ready to commit is it on the dotted line where are we going to move so then maybe that's why there's been a go back start you know um, stall u-turn you know that idea about movement but you are going to be thinking about it looking at it looking online leasing buying uh, even if that's about you know you might have a home business that you're now going to move into a different place or that you are working in a place and now you've decided you know what I've been thinking about it before now I'm networking someone in a group's told me about this great job it could be through groups that you get this great move so it could be through your groups you meet um, a partner uh, whether that be work or love or that through this group you're getting a new job uh, or through this group you're finding the perfect house because there's movement and this 
it's the groups that's bringing these things back, these thoughts back. But for some of you, this is about um, arguments that you've had with a friend from the past may be stirred up and being overblown or um, disagreements, discomfort, those things could be re-looked at again. And this could be where you've said, you know what, I've given this person time after time after time of chances and this is the last time I'm not doing it anymore. This could be where you reconnect with a friend or reconnect with school friends, someone you haven't seen from a while or from co-workers. But wherever the group is, you're changing positions around, you're reconnecting with people, you are negotiating with something, you're revisiting the idea with people, but also with movement as well. Now, Pisces, we are moving into a revolution in technology for you. You're going to find that your website, your promotion, your marketing, the way you speak, um, the way that you do things, the way that you travel, the way that you um, hear, speak, promote yourself uh, is going to change. And that change is coming in around about the 19th of December and will go right through to uh, for the next three months. And you are waiting. This is a major arcana card. You are waiting on information uh, from others before you can move. For others, this is about waiting on pins and needles to hear a an answer, to hear a verdict, to hear um, whether you got the job. Uh, now in love, this is about relief is coming. And this relief is coming from A, a secret being revealed, uh, B, patiently waiting for someone to have this, the strength and the courage to be open in their mouth and actually disclose information that you've been waiting for. This is an aha moment about a struggle. A struggle and the stronger you struggle, the more tied up you get. So this discomfort, this this can also be you know psychological as well. Mercury retrograde is about our airways our, and our Neptune because you're Pisces. So thoughts that you have where you tie yourself up in knots and you know you're waiting for something and the more you think about it there's nothing you can do you just have to wait but you're waiting and waiting and waiting and you're tying yourself up in knots now in love you might find that your hands are tied behind your back and you've got to come clean you might also find that you uh, have taken a pause and um, or had a break with a partner and that now with this new energy coming in, this Mercury retrograde, this back on the table, and you find you're able to sort things out. Now, you do have Mercury retrograde in your career, uh, and so that's with, um, you know, your job, how you earn, your studies, your finances, all those areas, and also with authorities, government agencies, uh, courts, um, and even for some of you, um, you're getting back on uh, the path to, you know, where you, your destination, your final destination. So your greatest self your, something this month for Mercury Retrograde brings things to a head where you're able to finally get back on that path because you may have felt that you've been straying out too far. Now you find that whatever's happening in Mercury Retrograde is bringing you back to where you need to be, but you are going to have a huge revolution when it comes to technology. It's going to, really going to help you. Uh, you'll find that you are reworking your work and uh, you'll find that you're talking to a lot of old clients or old people that you've people that you worked with before. You might find that you're making more money uh, this month, doing overtime, doing more hours. You might find that this is an incredibly busy time for you, that you're hearing from people that you haven't heard from in a long time, whether that be colleagues, whether that be networking, whether that be um, clients, patients, um, people that pay you as well. Also, you might, for some of you, might be headhunted. Uh, an old boss calls you and says, hey, listen, um, we want you back. Now, the higher fonts come out, which is about A, education, a higher training. It's also about seeing authorities about permits, seeing the boss about renegotiating about your wages, your duties, um, re-signing contracts, all those kinds of things going very well. Uh, you'll also find that uh, if you're going in front of a judge to do with children or legalities, you'll find that that will work well for you as well. Now, um, also, lastly, Pisces, you'll find that when there's that shift around about the 15th to the 19th, you will finally feel that relief. It's almost like you've been swimming, your mind's been swimming, you've been dazing, you know, in and out. You've been trying so hard to be able to move forward. Uh, and sometimes you feel like you're sinking in the quicksand, but you're going to find that things are moving a lot better um, now after the 15th. So be kind to you and those you love. Have a wonderful Christmas, safe um, and a happy new year.